Good morning and welcome to a Tech Talk Thursday. I am coming to you with a video about Edpuzzle. So I think most of, a lot of you are familiar with what Edpuzzle is, but in case you don't know, it gives you the ability to make any video into an assignment that has answers and questions tied to it, okay? So I just searched, when you come right in your to discover, and I just searched for the Bill of Rights, and I actually searched for a specific video that I wanted, okay? Um, and you'll notice that there were a bunch of options here with different amounts of questions. Um, there's already one that I played around with. I'm gonna look, some of these are say that they're Edpuzzle hosted, and some of them do not, right? Um, if it's Edpuzzle hosted, it's more likely to not have any problems with your firewall. So that is a good reason to do it. This one is 325 and it's supposed to be a three minute video. So I'm thinking this one doesn't have any clips in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it, okay? And I can see right away what questions this person has put in and I can preview the whole video and listen to their questions and look at them, okay? I can also go and edit my own version of the video. So one thing I notice when I go in here is this person put a cut in, so they clipped the beginning. I can drag it back and make it full length again. I can also go in here and drag it here. Let's say I actually want to cut out uh, this part, and I want to cut out something in the middle of the video. I can drag it over here. There we go, and add another cut. Um, it's not always so awkward to, um, and then I click on it and I press to delete it. Oh. oh, there we go. And I get the option to delete it and I can delete that section, okay? Sorry, it's a bit of playing around because um, I, I don't do a lot of cutting in the middle of the videos, but you can totally cut in the middle of a video. So you can add the cut, then if you drag here and you drag all the way, you get the option to delete and you can delete it, okay? So what I'm actually going to do now is go over to questions and show you questions. So I had said in our training that I, I do a voiceover. I don't actually do a voiceover. What I like to do at the beginning of my video is actually a note. So I like to do a note from me. And a lot of times I'll type something, but I'll also record my voice saying, hey, um, when you're watching this video, these are the things I want you to pay attention for. I might give some terms that would be good for you to write down in notes. I give just a little bit of guidance. Now, how do I do that? There's a lot of videos out there and there's a lot to watch. So one of the ways that I actually pick my videos is I can come to YouTube. And if you go to the same video on YouTube, so this is the, the TED Ed guide, I can come here and I can click show transcript and I can read much faster than I can watch a video. You can also watch videos, by the way, at like two times speed, so a three minute video is gonna take you a minute and a half. But then you get the text of this, um, and this is really nice because it helps me to figure out where to put the questions. So I'm seeing the transcript. Um, so the original intent of the Second Amendment was to protect colonists from uh, British soldiers, but now it, it depends your right to have a gun, right? So uh to to defend yourself and your property so i can go ahead and say okay well i know at 104 they say this and then 107 they say this so at 104 i want to add a question okay so i'm going to go ahead and drag this a little bit and i'm going to put multiple choice and that lets me put in my multiple choice question um so I'm actually gonna to go to one that's already written so I don't have to write something. Okay, so if I go to one that's already written, okay, I get the, t the time over here. So let's say this was the about the Second Amendment. I could say, let's put this at 107. Well, I just Which put it at 133. <laughs> so if I come here, this is now at 133. So you can put it at a very specific time. Um, 107, okay? So I can put that specifically at 107. I could put my questions here. You press this button to give feedback. So Which if says, they accidentally say, if they just oh, say it's guidance, right? 
So let's say they just talk about guns here. But remember that the First Amendment does more than protect your, or the Second Amendment does more than protect your right to have guns. It also does these. So you could just have that as feedback. You could also put a link in here and link to an article that explains the Second Amendment in detail, right? There's a lot of things that you can do right here just with feedback. And I really do like coming here and using the transcript to decide where to put the questions, probably because I'm an English teacher. So to me, seeing the words really helps me to figure out where to put it. Um, you know, it, it's just very nice to come here, um, talk about the Fifth Amendment, right? And I plead the Fifth, okay? So that's just a tool that I really use. I hope this tech tip has been helpful to you and I hope you're having a great first week of school. Um, and if you're watching this after that, congratulations, you've made it through the first week of school. <laughs> Have a great week, bye.